starting with the first question yeah what is it like to be a woman in the men's world I think it's uh, really special uh, I think the perspective that I bring to the table is always very unique I often see myself in many many conference rooms and boardrooms where uh, you know I'm the only woman and I think often the role I play is bringing uh, a group think which is you know whatever the the regular narrative is what is the counter view in many ways and also adding a lot of uh, empathy and and strong intuition which I think as women we that's the superpower we have and how do we really bring that perspective uh, you know often I think kindness is looked upon as a weakness in the corporate world and i think for us that's something that comes inherently and i think that's really helped uh, be for me to be far more additive in the in the boardroom conversations and generally in teams as well uh, and so i think that's that's why i feel like it's something which should be valued and more diversity is always going to help us uh, also come out with far more effective business solutions absolutely so what is the one big stereotype that you break through during growing up which you're really proud of you know i've always played a lot of sport okay. and uh, each time uh, I, i played uh, you know some competitive golf and even today i often ha have fun because uh, i go on the golf course and there are all these uh, you know men leaders who look at me and they're like okay she's going to play very well and then they uh, they have high stakes that we bet on and uh, when i start to play by the second or the third hole they realize oh my god you know she's she's really not as average as i had uh, imagined a woman <laughs> uh, sports person to I'm be i'm so sure in the beginning is there some men's planning happening Oh, a hundred percent, and I love it, right? Because I'm like, yes, sir. I completely agree with you, and and I will hold the club in this way, and I know the rules. And how does that end? <laughs> it, it, obviously, it ends in a lot of uh, surprise and shock. But I must say that uh, each time that uh, you know we play those rounds of golf, I've always learned a lot from um, from a lot of my male colleagues, and and uh, and I think often. the beautiful thing about playing golf and playing a sport is that you're able to build those human connections over a period of 4 4 and a half hours and tells you a lot about your team your team members and so i really enjoy that so i think that's a stereotype which i often uh, get very amused by because they look at me and they're like oh she won't be able to play uh, even when it comes to paddle now you know that's a new phenomenon and often i get on the paddle court and they're like uh, oh we'll pick her last and then you know uh, obviously it's it's a completely different story three words to wrap up the shi shakti what is the energy like um i think the future women are the future for sure um they're also the present but certainly the future and um i think the power you know you said shakti and i feel just the fact that uh, ai is really going to be the next future and probably the most transformative technology we've seen in our in the last century i think women are far better placed to use this technology in unlocking their potential than they were before